but you know what I mean. I did find out that it was Nintendo that said Eternal Darkness 2 uh, can't be made because they thought that making a second one would be too expensive. I mean, yeah. You would have to, you would have to redefine um, the Insanity Engine. Yeah, because it would, currently it would have cost them an additional 10 million to even have the company that made Eternal Darkness to stay floating. So it would have been too expensive to keep that company alive and make the game simultaneously. Yeah, no. That's fair. Oh right, yeah, because uh, Silicon Knights, for whatever reason, tried to sue Epic Games to be like, you released the game, you released uh, God of War, or not God of War, you released Gears of War on purpose to combat two human. And then Epic Games were like, well, what would you rather us do? Release the game or sue you for infringement on engine copyright? Because you stole the you stole the uh, Unreal Engine and you didn't credit us. And like, ah, fuck. <laughs> and then the courts were like, you know what? That's 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 fair. <laughs> yeah. Although, Silicon Knights did make Blood Omen, which I played Blood Omen too, and it wasn't that bad. So, although I, I also, this also makes me believe that they stole the Unreal Engine to ma make that game also. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh, well. Why didn't you spot dodge YCZ? Why aren't you like a traditional Sanus? I don't get it. Development release. Release 2002. Are we still looking up Eternal Darkness stuff? Yep. Nice. Had a short film at some point, I guess. Ah, reception. Okay, so upon release, it critics gave it a not gave it out a nine gave it a nine out of ten upon release. Except for the one company that grades in styles of forty. Gave it a 32 out of 40. Oh, Fabetsu? Yeah. And the Metacritic gave it 92 out of 100, so... So yeah, apparently it was very well received. At least from a critic standpoint. Like what? Talk Nintendo, to me, brother. I was like, Nintendo Power ranked Eternal Darkness as the 101st top game on Nintendo systems. Uh, people behind IGN had it rated as 96th best video game of all time on all systems. Um, the official Nintendo magazine gave it 48th best Nintendo game. Um, the game was ranked as the 7th best game for GameCube by X-Play, fifth best game by GameCube by IGN in 2007, and then tenth best GameCube game by Screw Attack in 2007. Placed fourth on the top of, on top GameCube games in 2009. So it has a, it's apparently been well received all in all. I guess. I guess it was just a whole lawsuit thing that Nintendo really didn't want to get caught up in. Because I guess, t technically speaking, Nintendo didn't have anything to do with the stealing of Unreal Engine. Yeah, because that was a game that I don't even think was released for the platform. Nope. Not initially, anyways. It's like, it's like Project Eden by uh, Eidos. It was initially, it was initially supposed to just be a PC game that 
got a console port because someone said, hey, we want this on a console. Like, okay. <laughs> as a cameo appearance in Ultimate as one of the spears that you can collect. Oh! Interesting there. Haha, <laughs> why CZ? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? No. Ah, it is also it was also cancelled because Silicon Knights uh, filed bankruptcy and closed all of its doors in 2013. It has absolutely nothing to do with the lawsuit. Yeah, this project was initially cancelled due to the legal trouble trouble with Epic Games, and then all hope was lost after, after it filed bankruptcy. <laughs> All they had to do was give them the royalty fee. And they still would have made plenty of money. Still he says. Blow pop. Oh. <laughs> the hentai game that broke fortune. I know which game it is. Was it the game that had the anti piracy thingy? Nope. Oh, okay. It was a. It was actually a uh, Katawa Shujo that uh, broke 4chan for a minute. Oh, uh, wait, why? Because the game was created entirely by 4chaners, which is why the studio behind it is called Four Leaf Studios. Uh, and uh, okay. the main guy behind it posted an OC on 4chan. And some guy said, yo, we should make this a game. And another guy said, yo. I can make music, let's do this. And so they made this, and then people started to play it after they spread it around 4chan, and people started to cry, because they weren't expecting the game to go the way they thought it would, and they realized they actually have feelings outside of this feeling of touching the grass. And that's when they realized they could be sad, and still stay indoors. <laughs> Soundtrack is good though. <laughs> Much like the There She Is series broke new grounds for a minute. Oh, okay. He's done. I 
doing too much percent. That's not a good sign. Start sweating any percent. This is still doable, though. A and B is misleading on purpose. Mmm, okay. Well. Oh well. I figured that the companies were lying to me in some way, shape, or form. Nice, I finally got to light, though. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Shadow the Hedgehog uses a pump action in P5, which isn't a real thing. <laughs> Whoa, you sure? You're positive? That's right. wild. <laughs> the closest that we have is a pump action AK-47 that Russia what? created. <laughs> They're so silly Russians. Why would we need this? Who knows? <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. I, didn't, I don't think I needed this recommendation. I don't need an ultimate flavor. 